Welcome. Let's talk about the energy systems which are now on the market with three main applications sanitary hot water, central heating and climatization of pools. We'll start by explaining the ecothermal equipment which is the reference used in the energy systems for sanitary hot water. The preloaded ecothermal has appeared with a view to providing energy equipment with easy, safe and rapid installation. It is an item of equipment which does not require any welding or other operations of any complexity. Ecothermal is made up of several components. During this first phase, only the three main components will be pointed out. Thermodynamic block, water heater and solar panel. The solar panel is made of aluminium sheet, which goes through different stages and high technology processes. It's previously coated with an anodized layer and with a selective surface finishing. Its size, robustness and treatment afford it the ability to withstand the impact generated by bad weather, as well as an environmental stressors, rain, UV rays, hail, etc. Weighing only 8 kilos, the panel has countless installation advantages, combined with its dimensions of only 2 meters long by 80 centimeters high. The thermodynamic block is a component responsible for the exchange of energy captured by the solar panel and transferred to the water. The thermodynamic block comprises several units, highlighting the compressor, the condenser and the expansion valve. All the units are fixed to a bracket, which is coupled to the water heater, leaving the condenser dipped inside. The water heater is the component of the energy system where the hot water is stored. There are different capacities, 200, 250 and 300 litres. It is a vertical water heater, based on the ground, and is made of steel with enamel coating and fine polyurethane insulation. The outside coating is in lecked white plate. So let's take a look at the preparations for installing an ecothermal. The first step for the installation of the ecothermal is to analyze the best location for placing the panel and the water heater, with the priorities being the best orientation and tilt of the panel, the minimum distance between the panel and the water heater, and also at the side where the water heater is to be installed. There should be electrical power, a cold water source, a hot water source, a turning point and a sewage. Four factors will be required in order to install the panel. Orientation, inclination, architectonic integration, securing. With regard to orientation, the panels should preferably be oriented southwards, but they may also have an orientation towards the northeast or northwest. However, the panels should not be pointed northwards. The inclination angle of the solar rays in relation to the ground varies according to the seasons of the year. To make the most of the energy emitted by the sun, you should choose an inclination of between 45 and 90 degrees. However, the panels can be installed with less inclination, but it should never be completely horizontal. The technical component of the installation should always be balanced with the aesthetic component, which is why the panels should be installed on rooftops, verandas, walls, the ground or other locations that are best suited to the sun exposure. All the components of the ecothermal models are carefully packed in individual boxes. Solar panels are typically secured with an L-profile aluminium structure which affixes the panel to the surface at six points of the latter. To secure the tile, follow the steps below. Mark the point where the tile will be drilled. Drill the tile.
place a bushing, place a bit of silicone, set a profile and screw it tight, seal the base of the foundation with silicone. The solar panels are secured to the brackets using the 6M6 screws which are supplied with the equipment. The fixing structure of the panels should have mechanical robustness capable of withstanding the impacts caused by bad weather such as rain, hail, wind, etc. It should also be stressed that there are two types of panels, the right panels and the left panels. The solar panels should always be placed at the bottom. In other words, the greater lens should be on the horizontal position with the connections facing downwards. With wall mounting, the execution is the same as with the roof mounting. The connections to the panel are achieved by tightening the pipes to the connections thereof. Before inserting the condenser inside the tank, we should guarantee that the edgings are not in contact with the condenser checking whether or not there is continuity between the two surfaces. It's also necessary to apply the seal joint in order to ensure it's completely tied inside the flange. Using the eight screws provided with the equipment, tighten the block to the water heater's flange. Note that the tightening should be done in a cross shape. The electric supply should be 230 volts 50 Hz single phase which is being carried out by a cable provided with the equipment. The electrical supply line should be protected by a 10 amp thermal magnetic cutout or by an equivalent fuse. The water heater can be placed in different compartments such as the garage, the basement, the pantry, the attic, etc. It should also be noted that it comes equipped with magnesium anode, an outlet for hot water, turning point, a cold water inlet, grounding. The equipment must be protected by a pressure reducing valve and a safety unit that should always be installed. We can now proceed to fill the water heater, open the water inlet valve and tap in order to remove the air inside the water heater. The connection between the solar panels and the thermodynamic block is achieved by way of dehydrated copper pipe. The advantages of copper over the other types of material are numerous, namely high resistance to corrosion, high thermal conductivity, great elasticity, it's profitable, efficient, aesthetic, 100% recyclable. Once all the components which are part of the ecothermal system have been presented, we will describe all the steps for correct installation, starting with the connection of the solar panel to the thermodynamic block. Unwind the copper pipe where the solar panel is placed to where the thermodynamic block is located. Before performing any procedure, we should insulate all pipes. Remove the nuts of the connections and place them on the side of the pipe. Do not forget to remove the copper lids. Then, we should make a tapper on the pipe with an appropriate tool. The tapper should not have edgings nor imperfections, ensuring that the walls are uniform. First, tighten up the nut, giving a few turns by hand, and then you should complete the fastening with a wrench. The connection of the pipe to the block should be initiated by a correct measurement of the pipe's length. Use the pipe cutting tool to cut the tubes at the exact point of connection. With the reamer remove all existing edgings without forgetting to put the lid back on. Repeat the steps to tap at the ends of the pipes without forgetting to put nuts at the pipe side and to remove the copper leads. Lighten up the nuts, initially by hand and finally with the aid of a wrench. After all connections have been made, the panel and the connecting pipes should be subjected to a stuff-out test, that is to ensure that there are no leaks in the circuit. It should be stressed that the stuff-out test is only carried out on the pipe and panel 
because the thermodynamic block is already loaded. You should then carry out the nitrogen load through the pressure stock of three-way valve at a pressure of 12 bars. Wrap all the connections in soap foam. In the event of leakage, it will be perfectly detectable. Read the nitrogen bottle manometer and check the point it hasn't moved. You can then be sure that there are no circuit leakages. Before producing the vacuum, you should remove the existing nitrogen load on the pipes and panel. The purpose of the vacuum is to remove all existing air and humidity in the panel and in the connections to it. Never use the system's coolant to purge the connections pipes. The valve should remain completely closed during the vacuum process in order to only vacuum the pipes and panel. The vacuum will be created with a pump connected to a pressure socket or three-way valve, never to the plox pipe. We open the vacuum hose valve, observing how the pressure in the vacuum meter decreases. The minimum type of vacuum recommended is 20 minutes. Self-evidently, the longer the vacuum the installation, the drier and less humid the circuit will be. Before starting the system, it is necessary to guarantee that the water heater is completely full of water. After vacuum process has been performed, we should slowly open the valves so that the coolant can circulate throughout the system. Please note that the preloading of the coolant was calculated for pipes with distances of between 6 and 12 meters. After opening the valves, the fluid fills the whole system. Once the installation is complete, it is necessary to connect a cable to the block and only afterwards tighten the cable on its sides. You can ensure the startup of Ecotermo 250, provided all the installation instructions have been complied with. Heating the water from 10 to 55 degrees can vary between 4 and 8 hours, depending on the environmental conditions and installation details.